Okay, Filippo, um, we sat in this room three months ago for your, your first interview after coming to the club. Um, obviously, the, the season hasn't finished yet. We still have a cup, cup quarter final and three Europa League games left. But the league season's come to an end. We finished third, qualified for Europe. How would you assess it from, from, from the moment you arrived until Monday night? How do you think it's gone? Well, about the league, I can say that uh, our approach to the league... Uh, was a little bit um, weird because when they they called us when they hired us the focus was completely direct to the qualification at the Europa stage and this of course affects every single decision that we make because the club asked us to do that and then of course uh, when we qualify that was, I think, an historic achievement, and we did really well playing good games in Europe. Um, of course, uh, then we restart to focus on the second second objective that was qualify for the for the Europa next year. Uh, I'm saying that because um, the 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 run to win the league was already compromised when I arrived. So, of course, the club was asking only to be focused on the Europa stage, where also money are, and they can understand. And when people, they hire you to achieve objective, you do what they ask to do. Mm. It's, it's simple as that. But at the end of the day, the fact is that um, we achieved the objective. It was the third position? The third position we achieved. Do, do, do we achieve the third position in the way that we were thinking? No. But it's, it's clear, it's clear, it's sunny that how we play with Shamrock, how we play with Finarps, um, how we prepare games to play against uh, Waterford or St. Pat. Those are games completely affected by the Europa League games, completely. We play as tired that they travel, uh, they travel, long travel away lack of preparation, lack of focus. I can understand because after you play against Arsenal or, in, or right before you play Arsenal, unfortunately, you have not the same ferocity that uh, if you play against the team in, in Ireland. The players were excited to play in Europe and we affected them giving a lot of importance to the cup game. And uh, I know there are fans that they are upset about it, but we did exactly what we decided to do. Mm -hmm. This is not about knowledge of the League of Ireland, about our knowledge of the game. We know exactly what to do. We are prepared uh, and, and, uh, and, and we know the game and we show that we can make the team play good soccer. It was just lack of time. It was really complicated moment I tried to save players from injuries and when I was making decisions was to protect players was decision made by discussion with medicals we uh, we were having players risking injury injury like to stop for two three weeks that's why we rotate and I understand the rotate of course we have also a big roster and we can rotate but when you rotate, you lose a little bit of balance and chemistry. But we had to do it. At the end of the day, we achieved the objectives. And this is what counts. Mm. This is what counts. And, um, and now we are looking forward for the next games and achieve the objective that they ask. Now we should have fun and try to go and win games and try to be more solid. But thank God we have time to work mm -hmm. again. Today we are coming from an amazing practice, an amazing day of practice after rest, after have time to prepare. So this is what we are looking for. Um, I hope that if there is a kind of negativity related to, to the league, to what we did in the league, I hope this is going to stop because we love this club, we want to work for this club. Uh, I think we can do an amazing job um, and what happened in the league was something that was under control. We tried to have everything under control. 
Then something went wrong, and uh, uh, by the result, instead to qualify uh, one game before we 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 arrive at the end of the season, um, but. Uh, but it is what it is. When I arrived, the situation was this. The team was fourth or fifth in the bracket. We finished third. So we have just to stay positive and keep on going to work. Is that frustrating for you as a coach? Because I think of the Shamrock Rovers game in particular, where you made, I think, 10 or 11 changes for a game against the dog's biggest rivals. But was that hard for you knowing that you know, I need to concentrate on Europa League, but at the same time, I might have to sacrifice, you know, league yes. points against our, our biggest rivals. Yes, it is. It is. It was really frustrating. Um, we were we were pissed that the game wasn't moving with the, with the, with Shamrock. It wasn't right. Mm. We had the game against Sheriff where we did something unbelievable there, winning against a really strong team. And then in between the final with Kiai, we had this game. Of course, the club, <laughs> the club is is pointing to 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 win in the Europa League. But it's it's clear that was the most important. And then you have to play, uh, you know, you have to rotate many players. You play with a lot of kids with the new with the U19 kids, and uh, and the same thing we did with Finarps. It was a big frustration, but we had we had to do it. And uh, and I'm sad that people don't understand that. Uh, and it's really simple to understand what we did. And this season uh, is still successful for what the club achieved. Is really successful. We have still three games in Europa League where we are competing against giants in Europe. We are doing really well. Is is reality. And then we have still the cup. Mm. It can become. And, and an amazing season, another amazing season for Dundalk. And we're going to fight until the end, for sure. Yeah. I go back to the game against mm -hmm. Arsenal at the Emirates as well. Like, around the hour mark, you took Chris Shields off, you made a couple of substitutions. Was that, obviously, that's in mind for the game on a Sunday. It's, I think it's incredible that you're playing Arsenal, but you're also worrying about St. Patrick's Athletic on a couple of days later. Can you imagine? Mm. Can you imagine, even for the players, what we had to do? It, it, they were not tactical decisions. They were decisions to make sure that the players they can perform in two competitions. And this affect everything. And then people think that I am crazy. I make substitutions. That's that's, that's ridiculous. Think like that. Uh, but nobody is here to work with us every day, and nobody knows our situation internally. And it's in, it's in unbelievable. The you know the uh, of course. Uh, I know it's impossible to understand, but it, it is what it is. But we did the same even with Rapid. We did make some decision to protect the game against LIGO, which which then went wrong too. But with Rapid, we were like really close to win a game, to win the game at 85 minutes. We had the opportunity to win the game. And it was an historic achievement after a really good performance. And then, of course, with LIGO, we struggled because our ferocity was gone, was gone, and unfortunately. Uh, um, but, you know, this can happen, we have to be strong, and at the end of the day, what counts is objective. I'm going to say 3,000 times, we achieved all the objective that they ask us. Yeah. Looking ahead the next year, if you're obviously still here. Yeah. With winning the, the league title, I'm sure, would that be... High on your the highest of your objectives next year to get the, the title without, back? Without doubt. Without doubt. The league is gonna be the first objective. Without doubt. But this is what the club is asking me now. The club asking to win the league. It's simple. And we're gonna direct our our uh, attention to that. It's really simple. So it it I don't think it you need a scientist or it is not a rock science. It's what the club is asking you to do. Uh, and and then uh, and then we will execute at the best we can. Yeah, you've had a week, nearly ten, eleven days to prepare for Bohemians, which must be crazy because you've yeah. you've had only two days to prepare for a lot of the games recently. 
how how are things in terms of injuries and you know you gave the cup the players a couple of days off this week which Absolutely. I'm sure they, they they were delighted about how are the preparations going for the game next no week? it's going really well like I said we had a great practice today finally we can rework a full, with full energy uh, many players that their injury they are coming back um, so Pat McLenny Duffy Kelly etc now we have we have the new injury is Pat Urban. Um, let's see we are evaluating him uh, it doesn't look really good right now um, but let's see the, there is other check to do and uh, and I hope he's gonna recover he's gonna recover fast but this happened because you know like you play a lot of games and the risk going up that's why I was protecting players remember Pat Tuban with me start only three games in the season and he scored three goals in the league in the league yeah in the league yeah so this is is i think is a, is to understand you know the best scorer in the league start only three times why do you think i'm crazy i'm not crazy it's just because i was protecting him to play to perform in europe uh, anyway you spoke after the game on monday um you're saying it's a busy week off the field and speaking to players and yep. can you give us any update on how that's gone or is there any progress? No, we start to to talk with the with our players. Uh, we are having a lot of conversation even with other players. You know, with the the the, the sure thing is that Don Doc wants to bring, wants to build a really strong team to win next season. Is the reality, and uh, and we're gonna do everything is possible to do it, and we want to make this team stronger. And, uh, and successful um, to make happy the fans. Yeah, you'd be happy if you won the cup. That will be amazing. <laughs> it will be a super ad for our season. Uh, the, the 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 club wasn't really focused on the cup, but now now that we are there, yeah. oh for sure, we are really excited, and and uh, it's becoming another important objective for yeah. sure. Brilliant. Best of luck, Filippo. Thank you.